decided to start this video after I've pretty much cleared out these rooms. So I took the rug out of here and if you guys watch regularly you know what the rooms look like whenever they're decorated and everything. And then over here I have the um, mattress off, everything ready to move. And um, you can, if you're new here, you can go back and watch my other videos to see how I had everything set up. But I thought why film all of the stuff going down whenever you guys see it pretty regularly. So. I'm going to go ahead and start moving things and I think I'm going to start out by working on the accent walls. So one day last week I was standing looking at both of the girls rooms and had so many ideas floating around and then it struck me of what it would be like if their rooms were set up in the opposite rooms and I realized that their beds would actually work better in the opposite rooms. Their rooms are right around the same size but the closet is in different places. So that makes a big difference on the layout and how their beds can fit into the rooms. Also, I wanted to make a side note that these heart decals, they are in my Amazon shop. I will also link them below, but they come on and off really easily and they're super easy to put on the wall and you don't have to worry about them getting sticky stuff on the wall or anything. So if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I have this thing for making faux shiplap. In our old house, I had done, I don't know how many walls, almost every room in the house had a wall with faux shiplap. So I started out by putting some lines on the wall with a pencil. I'm taking a little break from the accent wall. So one of our neighbors gave us this um, dollhouse and I think it's going to make a super cute bookshelf slash dollhouse for them. Um, um, for their woodsies and stuff like that, but it has stickers that are stuck all over it and it just needs a little TLC So I'm actually gonna paint it and then put some siding on the outside and paint the roof So I'm gonna go ahead and get the first coat on it and get it cleaned up a little bit I'm gonna use a razor blade and take the stickers off of the top of it And I think there's some more down on the bottom So with the shiplap wall, I go through and make lines with a pencil and a level just to make sure that they're straight. Then I put painter's tape on either side of the line to create a little bit of a thicker line. The whole wall taped up and I thought I would show you just a little bit closer so you can see um, what it looks like. And then I always take my hand and smooth over the tape just to make sure that there isn't any air that the paint would bleed and leak. So I'm going to go over it with chalkboard paint that I got at Walmart. I think it's Rust Williams brand and just use a small brush. The last time I did this, I had used a sponge, but I'm gonna try out a brush. I think it might go a little faster for me if I use a brush. And then I'll let it dry, see how thick it looks on the line to see if it needs a second coat. And if not, then I just pull the tape off and you'll see how it looks then. So I needed Corey's help with the screw gun to put up the chalkboard. 
and he also helped me take a lot of other things off of the wall um it's just nice whenever you're doing things that are heavier to have two people to work on them and i use command strips for most of my decor but when it comes to heavy stuff you really do have to make sure it's anchored well in the studs inside the wall so that's what i needed his help for Rewatching all of this, I really wish it happened this fast. This was hours and hours and hours of work. And with it all sped up, of course, it makes it happen in like 15 minutes. <laughs> but this was two days worth and it was so much work and very time consuming. So our chalkboard that's here, if you guys have watched me since we lived in PA, you know that we've had this chalkboard for a long time and it's actually the back of a whiteboard. My mother-in-law had initially painted the chalkboard paint on it and then I've refreshed it a couple times. So that's all I was doing was just putting some more chalkboard paint on it just to refresh it a little. Right, we are on day two of this project and this is the point where I'm sick of the mess and I'm ready for everything to come together <laughs> and um, obviously the girls had to sleep in their beds so we just made do but I have some holes to spackle up here from the things that were hanging in here Corey helped me move all of that stuff last night and then I'm gonna put another coat on the chalkboard because someone had taken a crayon to the bottom of this and um, obviously we just need it to be covered up with chalk. And the way that chalk paint works, if you've never worked with it before, is it can kind of look like this, kind of shiny when you do it. And then when you're completely done painting it and it's totally dry, you actually wanna take a piece of chalk over the whole thing and like make it almost dusty with it like my paint that's stuck on and i need to finish doing the roof for this and i did not have quite enough spray paint for this whole thing but i do have white shelf liner like white contact paper so i'm just gonna stick that in there um so i don't have to run out for paint obviously and um and then i also am gonna take a sharpie and do the siding on this side the rug needs to go out in here so i'm just going to get chugging with all of this and then i have something fun i'm doing up here and you guys will have to stay tuned i'm gonna get all of this stuff kind of wrapped up and then we'll start in on what we're gonna do up here. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. So I just used some spackling to putty up the nail holes that was left behind from the shelf and stuff that was here. That's one thing that you can do um, even though, you know, hanging things that are heavy on the wall involves screws or nails. Um, you can patch it up pretty easily and pretty quickly as long as you have the original paint. Next I went ahead and put some lines on the end of the bookshelf and I kind of wanted this to look a little illustrated, maybe a slightly Dr. Seuss. <laughs> so I did not measure the lines out or anything. I just went ahead and put them randomly the whole way down the side of the bookshelf. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the current situation. This has been on my to-do list for a while to get their closet straightened up and whatnot, but I'm actually switching closets. So this is gonna be the toy closet and then the closet in the other room will be their clothing closet. It just works best for us. But them being so close in age and sharing a lot of clothes and stuff, it just works great for them to share a closet. So, um, I'm going to take this thing off the rack and there's two of those and we actually are using them for nightstands at the moment for the girls because um, obviously I can't go to Ikea or anything right now. Eventually I want to, I had gotten one stand from Ikea but we're using it in the living room right now. So, I'm just going to use that and I'm actually going to pull some of the shelving from our closet and just totally rearrange everything. Okay, then here is our toy closet that I'm going to be moving over. This shelf I'm going to put into our closet and then swap it out for some of the other shelving that's in there. I'm not going to go into great detail because you guys will just see it all in the end. Now I'm going to empty out this closet. This saying I have wanted to put on Hazley's wall. Ever since I saw that Hobby Lobby had signs that said this, I think it's the cutest little saying, but I wanted it in bigger letters. And I looked on Etsy and some other places to see how I could order them. And they're just like crazy expensive. So I got this poster board and I have um, eight of them, just like there's eight letters. And I'm going to try to make my own letters. I'm going to trace them out first and then take a utility knife and with a cutting board underneath and try to trace them out and then the letters that are duplicates like the B and the A and the E I'm actually going to like make an E and then trace it onto the other one I think it'll look a little more put together if the E's both look the same as you can tell like this font is very imperfect it's supposed to look kind of like handwriting which is exactly what I wanted so even if I tweak this around and it doesn't look exactly perfect it's still gonna give me the look of this font so let's try this out and hopefully I don't fail. I don't have any extra poster boards. I just have eight. So hopefully it works out okay. All right, my first comment now having done this is it takes so, so much longer than you think it's going to. This in itself took me a couple hours to do and for every single letter and it's so sped up. <laughs> but it's really worth it if you wanna save money. It just takes a lot of precise cutting and being really careful as you go. If not, you'll end up with super jagged edges and you can also bend the poster board and make creases in it. So you just wanna be really careful as you go. And I tried even using a pair of scissors at one point and it just the best thing is a utility knife like what I'm using it just takes so much time Okay, everything is done. I'm so happy with how that came out. I think it's so cute and it didn't even cost me that much just because I, I bought the poster board. I actually was expecting to spray paint the poster board, but here Walmart had black poster board the last time I was there and um, it worked out perfectly. I just love it. And I just put it up there with command strips. And then obviously the girls have been busy on the chalkboard. And over here, I'll probably end up putting a few more coats of paint on the roof. Um, it's really, for some reason this chalk paint was really thin, which normally chalk paint is a lot thicker. So I'll probably have to put a few more coats on there. But we just put some bins in this, or they can take everything out and actually use it um, to play with their woodsies or dolls or, and things like that. And then the little play kitchen and I do still have to touch up some paint over here and I don't know what I'll do with these walls. I might put some sort of shelf here that we can put like her diffuser and stuff on. We'll see but I just think that this fits in this room so much better than the other room 
and I'm so happy with it. And my big suggestion is if you have a small room, decorate one wall. Make one wall the focal point and it will make the room not feel quite as small if you don't have every single wall, you know, with decor on it. And uh, I just love this. Then this is how everything looks in this room. I don't have everything done yet because I want to get more florals and do a larger collage on either side with florals. So I'm really excited about that. I just have to get it all figured out and I have to wait for stores to open up where I have access to those things. And then Corey hung this little guy over here and I just kind of put some of this stuff. This room is not, it's not quite as finished as the other room but that's okay um hung up curtains and i put this little banner over here for now i may end up doing a collage wall but it's so perfect and then i wanted to show you guys the closet so in here i just brought this over i might get some more tubs um, that you can pull out in here or i may just do shelves sometimes for their bottoms shelves work a lot better and then i just hung up their stuff up here is their bows in each tub in the nightstands that are over here i'm going to be using for like PJs and some things like that as well but it feels so good to have this cleaned up and organized and over here obviously we put some things in this thing and then I also did some organization in here so I brought this Kubi in here and just organized all of their toys had everything put away and it just works out really great and they're so awesome at cleaning up their stuff and putting it all where it belongs thanks so much for watching this video I hope it inspired you in some way don't forget to leave a comment below also subscribe if you are new here I'd love it if you joined my channel I do lots of motivating videos and DIYs, mom life, homemaker content, all of that. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.